literally just jumped straight off the boat into these mangroves. It's gone from flat just to like very steep. And it's just been dense as hell, like really thick. So keen to see that water hole. Look at that water, oh! Woo! Literally just jumped straight off the boat into these mangroves. We've been going probably about half an hour. Probably done about over half a K already through these mangroves. We've just come through this little lower section here. But back before we were actually under like mangrove canopy. Probably only got a couple of hundred meters left and then it'll transition from these mangroves into bushland, which will be hopefully easier to walk through than these mangroves because these bloody mangroves probably some of the most uncon unforgiving terrain to walk through when they're really bad so yeah once we get into that bush we're going to find this ridge line to walk up and we'll start cruising up there here we go that's the end of the bloody mangroves. Dead set, check this out. How sudden the transition from the mangroves to the bushland. It's literally a distinct line. Like look at that, mangroves, bushland. That's crazy, eh? <laughs> we moved about probably 50, 100 meters forward into the bush, and then it got like pretty much worse than what it was in the mangroves. This real thick, viney sort of subtropical terrain through here. It's like probably a couple hundred meters of this real thick stuff before we actually start like gain an elevation on that ridge line so just got to keep punching our way through that's the third time now that the terrain has changed like really rapidly we went from the mangroves clean cut line into like that rainforesty type stuff and then it's almost like a very distinctive line again from that rainforest type stuff into the drier ridge line terrain It's gone from flat just to like very steep. As soon as we got out of that rainforest, it's just gone like straight up. So we're gonna get gonna gain some elevation very quickly, which is kind of a good thing because it means we're gonna go up quicker and get closer faster. But yeah, it's a bit of a scramble going up here. When we first got on this ridge line down the bottom, we were thinking, oh yeah, this looks good. Like nice and open, wasn't too thick. 
started working our way up it. We're probably about halfway along it now. And it's just been dense as hell, like really thick vegetation, like half a meter to a meter off the ground is just laced with thick grassy vegetation and like a bunch of dead like sticks and branches and shit that your legs are getting caught up in and scratching you and bloody stabbing you. <laughs> it's, yeah, I thought this ridge line was gonna be a little bit more open than this, but it just goes to show you, like, you prepare as good as you can, but you never really know until you get out there and then then you then you see what it's really like. Oh this is fucking thick as it yeah. gets, eh? Hey? Look at this. It's hard enough doing off-grid missions like this just with a day pack. But we've got all this overnight gear on our backs and that just makes it 10 times harder. We finally made it to the top of that ridge line and we're at the point now where we can start moving across to the top of the waterfall. But we thought once we got to the top of the ridge, it might get a bit, bit open and a bit easier to walk through, but it's still just as thick, just as hard to trample through. But at least now we don't have to move uphill. But we're gonna work our way across to the top of that waterfall now. And I'm keen as ever to get there, holy. So keen to see that water hole and jump in it. All this stuff is like scratching you and stabbing you and cutting you. Your whole body's just like sweaty and itchy. But jumping in that fresh water's gonna feel like heaven. Just got this little break in the scrub up on this ridge line here. Come out on this nice flat rock slab area. And I'll show you what we got here. It's a nice flat sort of rock slab. It's like a perfect little camping spot here. This is basically what we want to try and find like at the top of the falls or close by. Literally everything just fucking hooks up on you. Eh? We are so close to the top of this falls now, but I tell you what, we've had to work for pretty much every single meter we've done today. It's been a bit of a slog, just, it's just so thick, really hard to trample through all this, even right to the creek. We can, we can literally hear the creek, it's that close. Yeah, we've worked for every meter today, but we are very close now, and I think this spot's definitely going to be worth it. Fuck, we must be close, surely. I think so. Finally made it out onto the creek. Far out, this is a good feeling. Beautiful looking creek straight away, eh? Just like the water clarity and the quality of the water is literally as good as it gets for freshwater creeks. Alrighty, here we are. Coming up to this spot, finally. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck, look at that water. Oh! Oh, that's sick. Holy, that's literally way bigger and better than what I thought. Yeah. That's, that's what she like said. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, like, that's cleaner than I thought. Holy that's shit. shit. That's dead set one of the best infinity pools I've, I've seen. Yeah. Like, that is a prime spot.
that fucking freezing. But at the same time, it's so nice. So we've got the water hole just there. Water runs. Big drop there. That's where the the big waterfall is. And there's kind of like levels to it. You can sort of scramble down. So we're just gonna walk around the edge and see how far we can get down. Alrighty, so this spot is absolutely sick. This probably easily like leveled my expectations, if not like well and truly exceeded them. And we're just literally just sitting around waiting for sunset. It's only about 4.30 in the Arvo. I'm already starting to put some layers on, so I reckon it's gonna be pretty cold tonight. <laughs> <laughs> 